Dave Palumbo here for RxMuscle.com. I'm at the Classic Physique Olympia pre-judging. It just let out, and as expected, it was a stunner. A very, very competitive field of athletes, all vying for that Classic Physique Olympia title here. Obviously, to, uh, we won't know the final results till tonight, but the bottom line is, it was a battle. And the battle was between Breon Ansley and Chris Bumstead, as expected, as predicted. And they didn't, uh, They, you know what, I, I hate to say it, I think it was a little anticlimactic. I felt last year's battle was a little better. I felt Breon came in a little on the flat side, although his conditioning was impeccable. He's a master poser for sure. Uh, Bumstead was the guy who had the opportunity here to, to win this title, and I just don't think he did enough here today to do that. I felt his legs were a little on the softer side. His tan was a little weird colored. Uh, he has the most blessed structure up there. To me, when I see his physique, I see classic physique, Olympia champ all over him. But you know what? You gotta knock out the champion if you wanna win. And I didn't feel he brought his best look to date. I think Breon will hold on to that championship title another year. I think Bumstead will be a very close second. And George Peterson, who really impressed the hell out of me when he first came out there, this guy has got conditioning. He's got the best back on stage. He's alone Mr. Olympia when he stands up there because of his short stature. It does hurt him a little bit. I think he's a clear uh, third place here. To me, the guy who was really the dark horse in this lineup was Henry Pierino, who will probably finish fourth here, maybe third. Best double bicep pose in the business right now in classic physique. He's a little shallow in the glute and hamstring area from behind, but I think that if he brings up that area over the offseason, he's going to be a guy who's going to be very dangerous, and he'll be vying for this title here today. The top four, terrific. Arash Rabar, who's a former second place finisher, is going to have to settle for fifth here today, but that just tells you how tough this lineup is. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens, however, tonight, because obviously the judging's not done. Guys could come back better. Things can change. But as of now, it looks like Breon will retain his title. Stay tuned to all our coverage later tonight. I'm Dave Palumbo with RxMuscle.com.